It's White Rose here for a Thanksgiving special. Now, me and my family, we have Thanksgiving already yesterday. But here's a review, a nice one. A sequel review to Garfield Halloween. And so this time will be Garfield Thanksgiving. Both thought in the bright morning where they're up to the shenanigans once more. Garfield and Odie Ray to scare bed military music. Joe Sargent. Hey, Mr. Arbuckle, get out of bed. Well, that's not what he said. He demands pancakes the size of Australia. That's where my boyfriend lives. But plenty of coffee for breakfast, of course. After the meal, Garfield decided to take some nap for a change his mind to kick Odie off the table. Oh boy, Garfield, when will you learn to not be a bully to the dog? Even I don't like even I don't like when my cat messes up with my dog. She does sometimes on Halloween. <laughs> and I don't like that either. And then as you discover as you but Along the way, Garfield checks the calendar date and discovers his heart that he had an appointment with the vet today. When he removed the date, hoping to make John forget, he didn't notice the more Thanksgiving an instant demand to John to buy Thanksgiving was on the way to the supermarket through. But then we get another melodious song from Luzon's music. Ah yes, Luzon's music is always the best about these specials. Back in the nine back in the eighties, Lozon music always sang the best songs. And believe me, the song was always so cool. And basically rhythm. Oh sorry, you almost heard it. Sorry, folks. But due to copyright infringements, I don't want to get in trouble. So I'm just gonna sing it, baby. And it was sung by Ah, by Luva. Do the mashed potatoes, do the candy yams, do the funky turkey cause it's time for the jam. If you don't want to dance, baby, that's alright. Do not stop the shopping, work on a bad time, making Thanksgiving one long meal. Cause the more you eat, the more grateful you're gonna feel. Now, as we see his attempts to woo over, uh, wait, oh my god, that, that on the way to the supermarket after leaving, John remembers the vet appointment and just caused Garfield to scream all the way to the office, which made him very uncomfortable. While the vet, Liz Wilson experienced Garfield with John attempt to talk to her and go on a date with him. But Liz says that, sorry John, but you're not my type of guy. You're too watery. And Liz reports that Garfield is too fat and must be put on a diet. She tells what the diet is composed of and after the moment Garfield enters panics. Then he screams and then after that John and then John tries and tries so many times. John, give it a rest, babe. Liz is not interested in you. You're a joke. But then so many times he tries so many like then he tried to oh god, make himself advocate, lose his life. And over that panic, till Liz says he'll go out with her. When Garfield and John humiliates the fates, expecting Liz to agree to go on a date out of annoyance, John invited her to his house, but almost not invited for second chance. Hey, hey, no second chances, Buster. Something like that. Invite her house for Thanksgiving dinner. At home, John is excited Liz is coming over. But Garfield is absolutely miserable at being on a diet, and after eating half of a leaf, oh, that's not a lunch. That's just a snack. Even I realize that's a snack. Poor Garfield. Oh, wait, do I have to say these lines? Fine. <clears throat> Garfield is an enormous fat cat. Hello, John has to give you a piece of lettuce. Otherwise, you're gonna get, you, got, you need to be thin. You need to be thin and skinny. Is that what you want me to say, Raven? Basically, Mom, yeah. <sighs> Alright. Garfield tries to read the fridge. How I stop by Odie's whistling. John has a sign to make sure the cat himself doesn't try to cheat on his diet. Later, Garfield waves himself talking to his scale. And thinks that he is Orson Welles. Who's Orson Welles? Well, Orson Welles was a famous actor of the late seventies period, through October of nineteen eighty-four. Oh wait, mm -mm. you know what I mean. He did a lot of films. He even did Citizen Kane with five, with twenty, with twelve other feature films. That was useless slacks from Mike Rose. Might do more of these in the future if I want to. Not. Mm -mm. In any case, 
But the whistle keep popping out, the cookie jar, salt jar, sugar, and others. Garfield just gives up and just stops eating. Or whatever lack of weight, poor cat, I feel awful for him. Being bold by Odie, when tries to steal the cookie, flour, salt, and sugar, as I mentioned that. Garfield wonders if the lack of food is making him hallucinate. With two heads of Odie showing up, next morning Garfield is even more grumpy than usual, but John pays him no mind of being getting prepared for Thanksgiving meal. However, it proves that he sucks at it! I mean, come on, you're not supposed to butter yourself, John. You have to butter the turkey, even I know the basic logic. John doesn't have a clue how to prepare such a dinner, and he doesn't! He didn't even throw out the turkey overnight. Doesn't even bother to make the stuff in. Only wear butter on the skin instead of the turkey. He roasted it at 50 100 degrees instead of 325. Oh my god, what an idiot. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. Even the Native Americans wouldn't do that as far. But Garfield also tries to help out ruining the meal further by putting garlic powder on the vegetables, which John subs and picked and picked the soup just in time for this era. However, every time he picked the soup, Garfield said, Mm, come to think of it, Garfield never really enjoying this meal after what John did with it. He's gonna pick in out rats out of his teeth. Ugh. Just in time for Liz the Aaron noticed that he's not wearing pants. John leaves the chickens a meal and Liz spends a bit of time inspecting Garfield and wondered if he perhaps was a bit too harsh on him. But he she explained that there are certain things that may endanger the cat if she's not eat, if they're not eating right. After Garfield pretended to be suffering from every single withdrawal symptom that the cat you mentioned, she eventually decides that the diet is too strict. She got to let him out. Instead of cheering him up until he remembered about John's horrible cooking of a feast, oh Lord, heaven to Betsy. In the kitchen, John is faced with a stray with so frozen turkey that realizing that he doesn't know how to prepare a turkey for Thanksgiving dinner, has no idea. Hey, wait a minute. If he doesn't know how to prepare a Thanksgiving dinner, does he have Thanksgiving in his family? Hmm, I'm guessing his mom cooks for all Thanksgiving meals, and he doesn't. Wow, what a failure, pathetic little idiot. He's an idiot! Slam and junk idiot. <laughs> In any case, mm -mm. all right. So with the gar with the Thanksgiving dinner not being good, he had no idea what to do. So Garfield managed to convince John to call Grandma, who thought it was his idea, and it wasn't. It was Garfield, who every second later and shooed John out of the kitchen. As John distracted Liz by giving a history lesson by Thanksgiving, he proceeds to cook the meals, which Garfield enjoyed. And as I say, Garfield enjoys Grandma as much as I do because I miss my granny. She cut the turkey into slices with a chainsaw, which added white sauce and batter, deep fat fry. And when Garfield said, deep, deep, deep fry, deep fat fry, deep fat fry. Tell you the truth for Thanksgiving Day, we had a fried turkey yesterday. I'm not kidding. It was quite delicious, I would say. Then sliced into what she called the famous turkey croissants. And prepared sweet potatoes, covered them with butter, brown sugar, marshmallows. Ooh, that sounds tasty. We didn't have that last year, though. We had jelly and marshmallows. Yuck. They were disgusting. Finished with a split second cranberry sauce, which was just a glop of can coming out of there. Then pumpkin high. Be give me that pie. Garfield's like, keep the resistance. I want to keep the pie. Once everything is ready, Grandma juggled all the food together to one bowl and just set up a big Thanksgiving meal. Well, what a fast woman. Then Grandma tells Garfield that Liz, if Liz can't. Now, John could never find a better man than this. If Liz couldn't have found a better man than John, then that she'd better not blow it. And she has Garfield to eat a piece of pie for her as she leaves. And Garfield tells John with the, with the sound of the gong, who had put Liz to sleep with his boring stories, which I better not explain that detail. Everything is ready to proceed to the dinner room to eat. And as, and as, and as they were amazed by the all the food, I'm impressed, so am I. Said Gar said uh, oh, John, as they would begin to eat their feast. Time, it was time for another song by Desire Goletti. <clears throat> it's a quiet celebration with family and friends. A time for cutting blessings. A time for make amends. It's a feeling all around you. You can hold it in your hand. Pass around the table for all of us and stand through the morrow. May take us far away. Let's stick together now. Let's find a way somehow to feel Thanksgiving every day. <laughs> I love the song. Mm -mm. 
In other words, Liz declares that it was the most wonderful meal ever and agreed to come back next year. Thank you. And then, for, and she thanks John in the cutest way, a kiss on the cheek. When Liz leaves, John Garfield only declares it was a great day and they are thankful for Grandma this side, but then decided to head off for a walk on the meal. Unfortunately, it was Odie's turn to be bloated like an elephant. Garfield's used to being fat. He walks. He has strong hands. <laughs> And strong legs. How does he have strong legs to keep himself all fat? I mean, how can he walk with those little legs? And now it was his time to annoy Odie. Odie and he put Odie on a diet. Scarfield gratefully tormented Odie in doing push-ups and payback for yesterday. <laughs> and that was, of course, a funny Thanksgiving. Garfield Thanksgiving, which was animated in 1986. Well, oops. Thank you, honey. Got that mixed up. No problem. Thank you, Sally. Mm -mm. 1989, anime television special based on Garfield Comics, which was once again featured by Lizzo Music, voice of Garfield. The special was first broadcast of November 22, 1989, on ABC Family, nominated by Outstanding Anime Program on the 42nd, 42nd Primetime Emmy Award. It's been released both T CVS and DVD home video on an OSG DVD copy of Garfield's Holiday Celebration. This was replaced with Garfield and the Rest. And of course, with our favorite characters, always like music as Garfield, Thon Hoyoge, Greg Berg as Odie, Julia Pace as his Dr. Lee Wilson, and Pat Carroll as Grandma. Her two songs make Thanksgiving a whole meal and it's a quiet celebration. Also, this was adapted to a book which retained the origin tale, Garfield's Thanksgiving, to follow the following ways. Well, you know, some of the scenes from the book were quite different from the movie. This one. Odie is on the scale and not involved in Garfield and John. Too deluded and happy about Liz over Thanksgiving is ignorant of the fact that Garfield is in misery. Garfield also weak for some effort as I resort and sleepy this night. More of John's self room Thanksgiving is in the end. Turkey did not throw out. The butter's terrible state. The sabotage bed was smoked and the pie made is burned. John is the one who decided to call Grandma without need and Garfield offered the idea. Hmm. Interesting. At the end, there is no mention of any new diet. Odie and Garfield simply sit comfortably with their full bellies as John sees Liz out of the door, and they agree automatically they have Grandma to thanks. And also created by Jim Davis, written by Jim Davis and Kim Bell, by Ed Bug, the Zygluti music artist, who is directed by Phil Romans and recorded engineer Gary Clayton. And now, I hope all of you y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And remember, as Grandma says, you be you better find a good guy out there. Oh wait, I messed that up. Sorry. Never mind the joke. And he said, I gotta go eat dinner. I had Thanksgiving yesterday with my family, but today I'm having my own Thanksgiving with my own food. And it's a recipe. Rice, sausage, vegetables, and of course some turkey pieces. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. And good night, folks. Enjoy the show. And have the best Thanksgiving ever, my friend, and good night. Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. <laughs>